Okay. Oh, this is so exciting. Welcome. Hey, book club. Welcome back to the haul. So I'm just going to go through everything I got because I got so much good stuff. Starting off this new coat. I got this new tote. This book called Spring Moon. I just started it and it's really good. Like it's right up my alley. Um, it's about like filial, imperial China. Um, and it's following the narrative, which I believe to be, cause I literally just started, I'm on page seven. This young girl who is, you know, directly in line with the like, you know, imperial China, but she's a young girl. So it's like, she's probably like five. That's what I'm assuming, but it's really good. I'm gonna learn more about it, but I'm so glad I found that book. Speaking of books. Oh, good afternoon. Oh, what I just reading. Just reading. Because I read. I'm a reader. The floor is cold, so. We're reading. Okay. I'm going to give my quick notes on Spring Blossom as I am thinking. No. Oh, spring brother, moon. it's Spring as Moon! It. Um, yeah. So I really enjoy this book so far. What I'm getting is that Spring Blossom is a young girl because in the character list, first of all, I love books with character lists. Like, let me show you how cool this book is. It doesn't have the um, cover. I just got it like this. And I honestly appreciate it like this, too. But look, a map. Whenever a book has like a map in it, you already know this is going to be fun. Like, bro. So it's a map detailing the House of Chang. And then it's Spring Moon, a novel of China, right? My bet bow lord. And then she has the foreword and the acknowledgments and it gets into the contents. And then it has a character list. Uh, like, I love this so bad. But, okay, so Spring Moon. No, yeah, Spring Moon is the daughter of Sterling Talent. That's all it says in the beginning. So I've been reading, I'm currently on page eight, like page eight, nine, and it's giving that Spring Moon, Spring Moon is an unreliable narrator, that she's a young girl. It's never mentioned like how old she is or anything like that, but just like the way that um, the narration is, not necessarily the dialogue, but like the narration, it's giving like, she's young she has to be so i'm gonna keep giving my updates as i'm reading this because i really enjoy this book so far oh well, no i just dropped my pick but i guess i'll leave it for the cat but um yeah we're gonna talk about spring moon real quick because i said i would be giving my analysis i've read i think seven more pages <laughs> but i'm still pretty early in the book cat's like rubbing her head against the screen but um, yeah, I'm on page 14, and it's getting good, so, basically, Spring Moon learned that they just gave Plum Blossom away, her little servant, because her dad, basically, forfeited her in a gambling match, and her uncle was the one who told her this, because her uncle was like, I remember when I was your age, I used to hate not knowing things, which is very relatable. Like, I feel like as a child, I was always, what? When cats go blue, they know better than to stay in one place. It is common for your knowledge that in order to lighten the weight of a metal lump, one must roam the stone cobbled streets in search of food and foss within the neighboring houses. However, a quest to drag affection from the pools of pleasure to the mundane deserts can at times land a leisurely cat in quite the predicament. Today, our fellow friend has landed himself in just that situation where the okay, lump just is now feather weight and has left space for feelings of attachment between two houses he wishes to be temporarily domesticated by. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. Alright. Her uncle. Her uncle was like, um, he was like, Oh my gosh, her uncle, oh my gosh. See, distractions, distractions, distractions. But okay, so her uncle was like, um, I used to hate not knowing things when I was younger. And I feel like my family used to avoid telling me things when I was little too, because I was little, but also because 
you know, there's a weight to it and you don't necessarily need to be knowing everything or be exposed to everything when you're a young kid, but hi. Um, it's like, so yeah, so far her uncle's cool. Sec secondarily, um, spring moon is interesting and I like the gardener and one of my other things that has been interesting is how her mom told her that, you know, there are servants throughout this house, but they have, some have been serving our family for generations and they deserve respect. You can't just demand them to do certain things. So, yeah, I think that's cool. I think the dynamic between her and Fatso is also one to be invested in studying. So I will be doing that as well. But y'all, don't. My name is Jade Marie Whitaker. Hey, book club! Welcome back to Mango's book club. Mango, mango, mango. We're still reading Spring Moon, and this book has some lines in it for sure. Like, I'm still very early in the book. I'm on page 21, but I just underlined this part and it goes um well spring moon's talking to her grandfather she just figured out what the whole situation is with plum blossom and old talent and old yay and basically she's like grandpa i wish you didn't tell me this story because now my heart's broken he goes if your heart did not break now and then spring moon how would you know it was there hearts break then mend and break and mend again in a cycle without beginning without end as surely as dawn sows the evening twilight sows the morn that last part hit me as surely as dawn sows the evening like first of all it just i'm, I'm big in wordplay i love words so when i think of sewing just like sewing as in like Oh, sorry, I had a hangnail. Just like sowing as in like sowing seeds, you're planting seeds, all of that. But thinking of sowing as in like mending, just as he said before, break then mend and break then mend again. Sowing sows the evening, the evening of your heart together. Twilight sows the morn. And I feel like twilight sows the morn is so obvious, but like that that whole line hit me. But yeah. So that was a line, and um, it was an interesting shift in perspective when, you know, for the majority of the book, the story was told through um, just Plum Blossom, or not Plum Blossom, Spring Moon's perspective, but right here on 17, it switches into the grandfather's perspective, and you're able to see how he's feeling about certain things, and it might be that I what you are able to see other people's stuff, but... Maybe I didn't pay attention to it, but I noticed that major, like, that was a big shift to me, at least. Um, and yeah, other lines, they say, the great sage has said that the higher type of man seeks all that he desires in himself. The inferior man seeks all that he desires from others. That's so true. Not even the biggest dowry can persuade a family to take in a troublemaker. That was, like, my biggest fear, <laughs> like, getting into relationships and different things like that. Um... And yeah, so this book is really good. This book is really good, but quick update about Spring Moon. I'm still reading, but already, I just want to mention, I love the imagery in this book. Like, the line that I just read was, the heavens were clear, salted with stars. Salted with stars. And um, when they're talking about the patriarch in the house of Chang, his bedroom, when they said, um, what's it called? Remembering the sanctuary this room had once been, not only for him, but for all the patriarchs before him. He could see it without looking, every detail. All within it was symmetrical, balanced, in harmony. The folding wooden lattice screens that served as doors, the gentle curves of the high-backed chairs that stood in pairs beside the desk with its shiny brass poles, 
the scrolls on the walls painted and penned with poetry exchanged between friends through generations, the porcelains his grandfather had collected, the jade his father had treasured, and the bronzes which he so prized displayed identical open cabinets, the books the clan valued above all other possessions. Like the way that things are described in this book is beautiful, lovely. And in addition to that, so it's the heavens were clear, salted with stars. Beyond the garden walls, someone was playing a flute. I already told you, this book has a map in it, right? So it details the whole house of Chang, and you can see exactly like where the garden is, where the patriarch's house is, where the matriarch's house is. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I get excited that, <laughs> that I talk faster than my throat can handle. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's super cool because... I know, like, I think of myself probably at, like, 8 or 12, reading books like this and always flipping back to the map and being so excited to, like, really get an accurate vision because it's intentional, but get an accurate vision of, like, what's going on and different things like that. I don't know. I just think it's cool. But anyways, we've reached the West Wind, so oh, I'll update more later. Dang, this book just took a massive turn. So the setting is eighteen ninety two. Um in the beginning I don't know if you could hear that, but the setting is eighteen ninety two. In the beginning, like in the map, it says eighteen ninety two, but uh, I don't know, I didn't trust it until just now. But yeah. Gosh, that was just the prologue. Like I'm moving into the West Wind now and I opened it. What do you mean chapter one? Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. So this is chapter one, the new patriarch. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Crunchy Rollers. But anyways, um, I have a thought. I haven't finished reading yet. I'm going to read into the West Wing later. Sorry if you have a chewing pet peeve. And if you have a chewing fetish, you're welcome. But no, um, I think... Because it starts off talking about the new emperor. If it is a time jump, because I wrote, I wonder if this is going to be a time jump. Like, I gave myself a little note about, like, my thoughts so far. If it is a time jump, I wonder if the new emperor is going to be Spring Moon's son. Like, if Spring Moon's going to be, like, her mom. I don't know. I kind of don't want it to be a time jump because I was really enjoying, like, the vibes. But we'll see.